and this is the chronicle of building the EDM machine. You can buy precision parallels from places like Inco. Get a set of eight of those for under 20 bucks. I don't remember exactly what the price is, but they're certified parallel to a ten thousandth. And so this will be the basis of a precision boxed way. First I made these little brass inserts. They weren't precise on how they drilled the holes, obviously. They really won't. But I needed to have uh, brass inserts so that I could put screws in and sink the screws flush. And that's going to be the basis of our precision in this boxed way. This then, the box itself, it's got a cross section with insert brass for the slides. These are some of the brass inserts. Fit in like that. This is the gib. It will be adjustable by set screws. And this is the stationary one. Yes, defect, I overcut, defect, I overcut. Okay, so that's what makes the sliders. This one be adjustable. This one is stationary. Then That fits in between them there. And steel slides on brass very nicely. Slick as can be. And then we have, we made a couple of leaves that have a little groove here, which corresponds to a groove here and another brass insert. Those two grooves line up like that, and that will keep this uh, butterfly wing from moving back and forth this way, sideways. And now it's got a pivot so that we can crank it down with a screw. Move the other one on. Same way in the groove. We'll bolt that up now just to see how it slides. Uh, a little bit later, I'll be mounting the box to the post, and the anode is going to ride on this. Okay. We got this in, sliding, and to adjust it, you just crank these down until it's too tight and back off a little bit. Okay, too tight. Snug. And same thing with 
Is that screws? Snug. And slide it back and forth a few hundred times to break it in and readjust it after. And no slop. Now, I plan to mount the box on a post with some throat so it can reach over things. And put the anode on this part, but it's a very small sliding part. Might loosen that up a little bit before running it and breaking it in. So, altogether, I think the parts add up to maybe 25 bucks. Don't even think about asking about labor. But it's a real decent result. Pretty cheap, pretty easy to make. So next is to mount it on the post, on a base. And then I'll be hooking up the welder and see what we can fry with it. That'll be in part two. Thanks for watching.